Welcome back to Crafted Entrepreneur. Today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to go from 5K to 50 thousand dollars a month and yes this is a completely free episode and it might change your life you might be thinking you need to go learn a new skill in order to make fifty thousand dollars a month and that's not how you're going to get there you might be thinking that you need to reinvent the wheel and i don't think you have to do that either we're going to dissect what you already have what you're already good at and figure out a way to monetize it. I actually had somebody from my audience ask me this question. She goes, Kayla, how do I go from $5,000 a month to $50,000 a month? And the first question that I asked her is I said, okay, why do you want to go to $50,000 a month? You have got to be so clear on why it actually matters to you that you make $50,000 a month. Do you wanna just make $50,000 a month because Joe Blow down the street makes $50,000 a month? Because your friends on social media make $50,000 a month? That's not a good enough reason to go after anything. Your mind will give up before it even gets started, before you even take your first step on the journey because I promise you it's gonna be hard. This isn't going to be the easiest thing that you've ever done in your life. Now, I'm not going to ask you to dig ditches, you know, or anything manual labor like that. I'm actually going to have you rewire your entire brain, which is hard work. Your mind is lazy. Your mind is not your friend. It doesn't want to think differently. It wants to stay in its comfy little comfort zone, thinking the same things it thought yesterday. But I promise you, in order to get to those $50,000 months, you can't think like you thought yesterday. You've got to dream a new dream in order to create a new reality. So I'm going to ask you again, why do you want to make $50,000 a month. And I almost want you to imagine like you're standing before the courts in heaven and you're like, God, I want to make $50,000 a month because I'm going to give to an orphanage. I'm going to send my kids to private school. I want to eat organic, healthy foods for my body. And I want to buy my dream home. You're going to need a lot more money to do all those things. But I'm just saying, stick with me on this visual. Why do you want it? How is it actually going to add value to your life? You've got to be so convicted in it that you're willing to go to the courts of heaven and ask God for what you want. And when you start asking God for what you truly want in your life, you better start getting ready to receive it, okay? Because it says in the Bible, ask and you will get. That's really, really as simple as it is. God's going to give it to you better than you even can imagine. Play with me here. Why do you want it? I remember when I first started making money, okay? All I wanted to do was work part-time. I wanted to make an extra $2,000 a month. And then I started making an extra $2,000 a month while I was still working as a nurse. And then I go, okay, if I could do that, I wanna get to the 5,000. Then I did that and I said, well, now I wanna get to the 10,000. And with every number, there was a new goal attached to it. So when I had my first $50,000 a month, My goal at that time was actually to talk Chase out of working for his dad in his family business to come home and build an empire with me. And I wanted him to be a full-time dad. I wanted to be a full-time mom. I wanted to be able to travel all over the world, homeschool our kids. And this was back in 2013, you guys. Okay, so 11 years ago. Oh my gosh, (laughs) it was a long time ago. Taking me back right now. But the visual, right, that dream of me making $50,000 a month was so, it felt so real. It felt so palpable to me. Like I, once I tasted the dream in my mind of Chase being home full time, me being home full time, traveling all over the world with him and our two kids at the time, I wanted it. Like I couldn't unsee that dream for ourselves. And so I was willing to take new action. I was willing to be a different person to get to that $50,000 a month because I knew at that level, Chase wouldn't deny what was happening in our lives. He would see that God was doing something new. Like our old lives of being an ER nurse and an oil-filled worker were dead. 
right? Like God was doing absolutely something brand new. He was elevating us and putting up putting us in a place of influence and I he wanted us to be home together. And so that's what happened. We made $50,000 a month. Chase ended up leaving the family business and we became a full-time family. We used to call it we're a full-time family. <laughs> And there were a lot of hardships that came with that, but still, it's one of the best things that ever happened to us because Chase then got space to decide what he wanted to really do with his life. And he now has a lending company that is thriving and I'm so freaking proud of him. And it really started at that 50K mark. And I wanna tell you what I did differently, okay? Remember, we had the why. I knew exactly why I wanted to make that $50,000 a month. And the second thing I did was I had to network with new people. And I don't care what industry you're in right now, okay? This will work with any industry. Mark my words. If you network with new people. So going on different social media, Facebook groups, going to new events in your community, hosting your own events that are attracting new people to you, going live on social media, just attracting new people to you, joining a mastermind, joining and collaborating with people who might have the audience that you need that don't sell what you currently sell, okay? And you guys can collaborate and cross-pollinate audiences. This is really important because in order to get to that $50,000 mark, you're gonna have to help more people. So the hardest thing in business is to gain new customers, but you gain new customers by collaborating with other people. Are you catching this right now? So the more new audiences that you can get in front of, share about your product, share about your service, share testimonials about how you've changed people's lives through your method, the more eyes on your offer, okay? This is really, really powerful for you. Now, we've done that. We're getting in front of new people. We're gaining new customers. But the next way to get to that 50K mark quickly is to look at the customers that you already have and give them something else. So you're increasing the lifetime value of your customer. Remember I said the hardest thing you're gonna do is gain a new customer. The easiest thing you'll ever do is to make a customer stay longer. Those people don't wanna leave you. Once they've taken your first course, once they've tried your coaching program, Once they've tried your product, they already have that trust factor built up. Remember, you've either kept the trust with them or you've lost the trust. (laughs) But if you've kept the trust because you followed through on what you said you were going to do, then those people are going to go, what else does Kayla have? What else does Jesse have? What else can I get from them? And so have some type of model, whether you're adding another product or service to what you already are putting out there into the world, Or the second thing you could do is partner with somebody where you can be an affiliate with them. So you could say, okay, you know, my my program is fitness coaching and I've helped this person get healthy, lose weight, feel good about themselves. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partner with an athletic wear company. I'm gonna partner with a supplement company. You're gonna partner with somebody where you can sell their products and make a large commission to the cus- with the customers you already have. This is how you get to 50K. You're not working harder here. You, you hear me here, you're not working harder, you're working smarter. So you're collaborating with other people's audiences and you're learning to increase the lifetime value of that customer by continuing to add products or services that are either your own or other people that you know, like, and trust. Okay, and I know this sounds so simple, but stop making business so complicated. It's really not that complicated. People have problems, you have the solution. Continually show them all of the solutions that you have for them, and you will never go without money. So we're gonna recap here. Know your why. This is the most cliche thing you're gonna hear, but there's a reason why you hear it all the time. It's because success leaves clues. It works. When you were sold on the vision, people will be sold on you. So know why you're working towards something. Get out there, meet as many people as you can. If I'm sitting on a plane, I'm always thinking like this person, I'm gonna help them in some, some way, they're gonna help me in some way. And more often than not, and I always usually sit first class, but more often than not, I get off 
and the guys or the girl is always hugging me by. We've made a friendship, okay? I'm always trying to find people to add to my relationship capital because maybe they're one person away from helping me achieve my goal that month. That's how I want you to look at every single person you interact with on a regular basis. And the last thing you're gonna do is increase that lifetime value of your customer. Continue to solve their problems and you're gonna hit that big goal of yours.